Guten Morgen. Wir sind in Wien, Österreich. Another day, another country, a new experience. But we have something different for you today. We actually have a special guest. Sup, people? This is my brother-in-law, Kyle, and this is my wife, Tammy. You've got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> so Kyle's heard all about our crazy, wacky trips and he wanted to get involved. So here we find ourselves in a loft apartment in a place called Schwechat, Austria. Here we go. Nice and straightforward. We are literally in a loft in someone's house. So what's the plan today? Well, it's not often you get to stay on the outskirts of Vienna as a tourist. And that's what we're planning to do. We're planning to look around this little city, town, whatever the hell it is, and uh, see what a non-tourist area or a non -tour uh, less touristy area in Austria looks like or in Vienna. So we're not too, I mean, you probably won't be able to see, but we're not too far from a train track. So that was quite interesting. Um, and yeah, it's quite a, quite a nice little start so far. Very cold morning, but we're looking forward to getting started. So let's go and have a closer look at Schwechat in Österreich. And there you go, as you can see, this is the previous rail rail track. They've started taking it all up now. And the actual rail line is back there. You can see all the rail lines. So yeah, nice little, uh, no, it didn't bother me at all. No, no issues sleeping. Okay, here we go. We're making our way out now. It's a very nice apartment and uh, we are in the back end of nowhere, really, in Austria. You know how we do things on Team McGrath. Oh yeah, as well. Look at this, look. Ripping. And Sam as well, but yeah. You can't buy them. <laughs> yeah, she, she's not gonna do that, but pretty exclusive. We're, uh, we're not selling them or anything, but if people ask us what our channel name is, we can just go, there you go. Because it's if you're abroad and you try and say Team McGrath, people are like, huh? What, what's that? I think you should. Yeah. Make t shirts and sell them. T shirts and sell them to everyone. What do, do you reckon, do, people? Do a limited edition. Limited edition, yeah. Will people buy them? I doubt it. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. Let's get a closer look at Schwechat. I genuinely thought that was Ricky Martin then. Genuinely. I don't know who that is, but I thought that was like Ricky Martin on a sticker. I was like, what? Why? So we haven't really got a plan today. We're just gonna walk around the streets and see what this area is like. See what a typical suburb in uh, v Wien looks like. Achtung Kinder. Attention, they're children. <laughs> Where? <laughs> so, <laughs> be honest, they're, they're following us. Oh, the Pied Piper. <laughs> so, um, we've, uh, we've been brushing up on our German, me and Tam. We've been learning, look at this. Look at these cars! <coughs> wow, that's awesome! We've been brushing up on our German. We've uh, been learning German now for the past 100 days, every day. Just pieces, like 10 minutes here and there. We're still not good enough to be able to hold a full conversation, but we know we know a couple more words than we did before. Uh, let's see now, we know Kaufen. My favourite one. My man is hesslich. No. That's not fair. <laughs> Can't believe she's learning bad words. So yeah, she's uh, she's learning to say bad things about me. Not good. But um, yeah, so we've been learning a little bit of German and uh, we'll use it when we get into central Vienna. We may need to use it uh, out here as well. I'm not, I mean, in Austria, the level of German tends to be pretty strong anyway. Uh, English, sorry, seems to be pretty strong. Uh, but it's always good to not assume that everyone can speak the language. And even if they can, it's always good practice to, uh, to at least give it a go and try and speak uh, try and speak the local tongue. Good to Morgan. <laughs> so yeah, everyone's ooh, everyone's very friendly. Um, I thought that was real shit down there, man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was real, but it's not. <laughs> So yeah, as you, as you know, on Team McGrath, we do try and learn a few bits of the language where we go. But, wow, very nice. 
We have no idea where we're going, by the way, people. We could be completely stranded for all we know. Could be going to a dead end. But we want to show you a typical street in uh, in Shrechat and see what this place is. They're very, very nice, actually. So we came here, we got here about, so we got to Austria about 10 to 11. Was it about 10 to 11, guys? Yeah. Yeah, about 10 to 11. And uh, we, uh, by the time we for security took forever. The guy on our particular desk, he was, he's a tough nut, wasn't he? Yeah. <clears throat> he was like, every person coming through was asking them a myriad of questions like, Where are you going? yeah, <laughs> but thankfully, this bloke on the other desk was cleared of people, so called us over. And these people behind us tried to run up past us. Oh, sneaky, sneaky, weren't impressed. But uh, they they tried to, yeah, tried to get past us. And uh, we finally got the check-in. The check-in process, I think, took like, what, half an hour? Yeah, yeah. One of the longer check-in processes we've had. But uh, we got that done. And then we got on the, uh, we went to the Bahnhof, the train station. And from there, we got a train to Schwechat, which uh, is actually in, it's the place where the airport is. So we actually decided to come uh, come a little bit, a bit more closer to where, where the airport was, because uh, we wanted to kind of get a sense of local life. I thought my battery was dying then. <laughs> a sense of local, local life. Um, so yeah, look at this. Lovely. Let's keep keep exploring and seeing what what yeah. Shvechat has to offer. Guess what? Dead end. We knew that was going to happen, didn't we, people? <laughs> Team McGrath. Dead ends. Walking nowhere. Who needs a map when you can just guess your way around a place? <laughs> but we're going to try and get back on the main road and see what we've got. Let's do it. Here we go. We're on track now, we're on the right way, we're not on a dead end. And I don't know if you can make it out, but there is a Kyrka. We'll get a bit closer to it. And a Kyrka, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, is a church. So, uh, yeah, currently a re undergoing redevelopment the area. But it's a really nice, uh, really nice traditional little, uh, little town, village, city. I'm not sure what this place is classed as. I'm not even sure if it's a suburb of, uh, of Vienna. I'll have to put it on the screen what this place is, unless I have already. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to have a little nosy over here. I do apologise if you're losing me. I do have a bad habit of uh, leaving everyone behind. Yeah. There we go. Onwards and upwards. Let us see what we have around here. So, I don't know much about Austria. First time here, obviously, as I said. Got the Austrian flag just there. You can make it out. Go closer to it in a minute. And uh, one thing I've noticed in this particular part of the city is the streets are so empty. So we got here, as I say, midnight. We actually arrived here in Schwechat. I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Got here about midnight and uh, it was completely empty. Nobody here at all. Uh, it was really, really nice. Peaceful walk. We walked past there, this little stream. Yeah, very pleasant. But uh, we don't, yeah, we don't know much about the area. We tend to prefer to stay outside the tourist areas when we can. But we are going to go and spend the day in central Vienna as well. Um, we're staying, I can't remember what the place is called we're staying in, but Unselgutler, something like that. Can't pronounce it correctly, but <laughs> that's where we're staying next. It's a little street in uh, Vienna itself. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it don't seem to be, uh, don't seem to be too bad over there. I had a look at a few of the pictures. It's quite, quite, a, quite a nice little area. But again, we value authenticity on the channel as opposed to uh as opposed to spending as much money as we can to have a an ostentatious experience so uh we're quite happy to spend a little and have a bit more of a a unique experience but 
you can just about make out the Kyrka, the church. I do apologise for butch butchering your language, people. I know the words, but the pronunciation is a little bit different. <laughs> it's not easy for us in England. You have words and sounds that we don't quite have. So it's a challenge for us. I'm not going to jaywalk because you never know the jaywalking laws in the country. <laughs> you just go past. There's no cars, but it's red. I've heard that in, uh, in this part of the world, it's still quite good practice to, uh, to wait before it turns. Yeah, you know, it could be red, but people aren't going. Well, there's no cars, but you should still wait. Here we go. And this is where we are. Schwechat Wienerstrasse. Schwechat Vienna Street. And we go, and there's the uh, the church, die Kirche. Again, I'm sorry if I'm getting that wrong, but yeah. So far, so good. What do you, what do you think, guys? Yeah, I like it. Beautiful. People, a few words. We can go. <laughs> We're not jaywalking, I don't believe. No. I'm hoping it's not one of those. I'm hoping it's, it's the green man. I'm hoping it's not one of those situations in Greece where even though there's a green man, the cars continue to. Oh yeah, look, they do. <laughs> oh, what it is in Europe. In in England, we'll see a green man, and that means that all the cars must stop and we can go. But in Europe. It means that some of the traffic can still go, but you have right of way. For an Englishman, it's still very confusing. Here we go. Look at this. Very nice, eh? a kebab pizza house. A little bit too early in the morning to start off with a kebab. But yeah, a rather nice church. We saw that off into the distance and we wanted to go and see that so I'm glad we got a bit closer to it and uh, yeah first impressions very nice very clean city uh, very clean country sorry everyone's very friendly very accommodating and uh, we haven't got into central with Vienna obviously so it could be a different vibe there but uh, at least here in Schwechat it's uh, very nice so enjoying the t enjoying the experience so far So I got a, uh, an Apotec. If you're wondering, an Apotec is a pharmacy. And I uh, got a very nice, uh, another church. Or a, it looks like a church, I'm not sure what that building is. So it has the kind of neoclassical styles of, uh, of Austria, of Soviet, of Vienna. But uh, on the outskirts, oh, look at this. Brot, bread. Nice and straight to the point. It looks like a, it's a bakaray. Bakaray? I can't, I can't pronounce that word. I never tried to. Bakery. It's a bakery. Obviously. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. It's still got the stylings of Vienna. I mean, I've not been to Vienna yet, so I'm not sure. Uh, do apologise if you're losing me, by the way. I'm going to come out of the light shortly. There we go. <laughs> so, it has some of the same stylings, but it also has that kind of uh, rural, you know, uh, not rural, that's the wrong word. That kind of... Uh, residential feeling as well I'm assuming I'm not yet in Vienna so I could be wrong but that's a very beautiful place look at that what a building so why are we here in uh, Shredjet well obviously the first reason is because we got here quite late we don't want to travel all the way into central Vienna so we decided to come here somewhere a little bit closer uh, but also because on our channel we really do like to try and experience uh, a little bit less of the touristy side of things where we can and try and experience something a little bit more akin to what a what a local would experience when they're here or living here and we try and do that everywhere we go so each of our videos you'll notice we'll try and break off the tourist trail and go and have a look around the less touristy areas or we'll generally stay somewhere a little bit less uh somewhere a little bit less uh you know a little bit less touristy it's in Centrum, doctor, doc, doctor centre, like a medical centre, I believe. <laughs> can read some, but uh, enough to understand where I need to go if I'm feeling ill, I guess. Uh, I'll go over here. Yeah, 
Buschhandlung am Hauptplatz. I don't know what that means. Probably nothing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is uh, a typical little place in uh, outside of Vienna. And yeah, not bad. No, I'm quite quite a fan. Get out of the tourist areas, people. You know. It's a unique experience after all, like, you know, you could, uh, you could go to the, uh, you know, tourist areas and stuff like everybody else, but even if you have one day to do it, just pop out, take a little train, a tram, whatever you need to do, and go and have a little look about. I mean, for all I know, this could be really touristy, but it doesn't, I don't have that tourist vibe here. And I'm walking around with a big old camera on a stick and people are looking at me weird, so they probably don't see this often in this, this part of the city. I'm like, why are they, why is he vlogging here? <laughs> There's nothing here to look at. But then I guess people that are interested in this part of the world. Brathaus. Brathaus. Is that a uh, is that a town hall? Brathaus? I don't know. It sounds familiar. And another beautiful mosaic. Very nice. All right, so it's a small little place, so there wasn't really much more. We did see, we did see that there's a McDonald's nearby. We did a good old walk. Turns out it's permanently shut down. Probably should have checked Google Maps for that first. But what we'll do before we finish off this video is we'll show you how the ticketing system here works for the trains, if you're curious. If you want to know how to get a train around Austria or Vienna, shall I say, or even outside of Vienna, because uh, there was a train yesterday going to Brno in Czech Republic. Can't pronounce it, sorry. <laughs> um, so we'll show you how to purchase tickets just in case you want a bit of information. So let's have a look. Just on the way to the train station and uh, we spotted this on the way <laughs> on the way in actually yesterday. But it's like the most, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The most uh, contradictory wall ever. You've got this like peace, love and harmony. And then you've got some rather, I ain't gonna say that, but you got that. <laughs> that might not mean anything bad, but uh, yeah and then you got that <laughs> and then a bunch of like gang graffiti or uh, you know youth graffiti next to a peace wall which is quite interesting all right here we go as promised so this is the system so first and foremost you can obviously change the language which is good you've got a choice between Italian, english and german and uh ironically enough the train we need has just left and we've got to wait another hour so we're going to go to Vienna and you can add an adult like that and then you go next and three adults to here no changes you can get a bus. apparently you can get a bus Shall 1109 okay but no because it's it's now yeah, yeah. so okay we'll we will see where this bus is here yeah. uh one-way ticket 720 euros okay that's fine so three adults, that's, that's pretty good actually for three adults. I thought, sorry, I thought that was three, 7.20 each. So there you go. That is how you purchase a ticket. Okay, so we're gonna go and get the bus to Vienna. We really hope you've enjoyed our vlog today. And here's Kyle. Shout out to Kyle, thank you for joining us. If you're interested, he's also got a Twitch channel where he streams video games. What kind of video games do you play, Kyle? Wolf Thunder, Call of Duty, just the normal general stuff. And uh, what is your channel name? My channel name is Lord Pain 27 Lord Pain 27 on Twitch. If you're into gaming, give him a follow. He's a great guy, very entertaining. But we're going to head over to Vienna now via bus. Join us there. Hopefully you enjoy it. See you soon, people. Danke. Take care.